Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2023. This is K Festa 6 at the National Stadium in New York, Tokyo. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis. And on and inside the ring is Kyotaro and Satoshi Ishii. I haven't seen Satoshi Ishii with a beard like that, but this is an <laughs> amazing uh, fight with these super heavyweights of the K1 oh. in Japan. Oh. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he was the gold medalist in judo at the Peking Olympics. Then he's been training mixed martial arts, oh, yeah. been doing boxing, mm. and now he's here challenging in the K1. Kyoto is probably one of the original sort of multi-colored hair Japanese fighters out there. Kyoto was there always the, the, the funny character, yeah, very yeah. like, yeah, and charming and interesting. And, Always trying to be very original. With the star at the back of his head. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. He's also been, uh, he quit um, K1 for a while mm. in the pure boxing. That's right. He's yeah. actually never lost to any of the Japanese in either kickboxing or boxing. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. This is um, Ishii's fourth uh, K1 uh, fight. Yeah. He's had uh, three wins so far, so yep. he's absolutely unde undefeated in K1 at this point. Interesting career that from the judo now into this yeah. kickboxing. They're both 36 years old. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah that is to take I, your hat yeah. off for. <laughs> yeah. I admire these guys for, for doing that, you know, and still at it. Uh, yeah. I think I fought my last fight at 36 or 7. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's that short, strong punch from Kyotaro that we could yeah. be expecting to see. Yeah. He better of, keep his hands up whether he's going to get hit of, hard. Mm, there's a lot of weight there and the punches can be Yeah, fast. and it's really short and, and, and sometimes very sneaky with the timing. So he's mm. got a really good punch there. Uh, definitely something to watch out for. Mm. I think Ishii's the kind of fighter that can take a punch, but if you, if you keep going, like if yeah. you hit him with one clean one and you keep going until he falls, then he might fall. Mm. A lot of more experience from Kotaro, you can see he's totally calm in there. Yeah. He's just picking a shot from combinations. He's done this many times. I wonder how much these guys are weighing at this point. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a heavy weight, so we don't know for sure. But the Kotaro looks like heavy and powerful. Satoshi is, Ishii has got some just amazing soldiers. jacked so. up. <laughs> And that beard, I haven't seen him like that. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's what I was telling you about. Okay, the short this, straight hand. This is yeah. Good. Oh, he's he's running for it. This could be Ishii's first uh, lose. Wait. Oh, he's got 40 seconds left in the first round. Here. Oh man, he's tough though. I gotta give it to him. He's tough. <laughs> Dude, just kill that keeps hitting him. No kicks really, just a lot of punches from Kyotaro. Absolutely no footwork whatsoever from either of them. <laughs> They're just walking after each other. <laughs> you see feeling it, there's no muscles on, but wow. Okay, wow. well, that was exciting. Interesting round one there. Pretty impressive how he stayed on his feet. Yeah, Kyotaro versus Satoshi Ishii coming from the Judo world. And there's Kyotaro. And we'll see that punch E. Whoa, which nearly got Ishii down on the mat. Yeah. Boom. I saw um, Kyotaro come out in a pink monkey suit one. <laughs> Like a full-on, you know, one of those suits oh, that... Oh, his feet are off. His feet are his off. Life, yeah. His life. Um, yeah, he came out to that. Like, it was just so wild, it was hilarious. This was uh, before a fight, right? Yeah, yeah. A pink monkey suit. Yeah, a pink monkey yeah. suit. Why not? Yeah. I guess pink hair wasn't enough. Yeah, he's, uh, well, he's a cosplayer, actually. Mm. So he'll come out dressed up as a high school girl or something else. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Keep the fans happy. Is she? <laughs> Man. This fight is probably worthy of the 30 years of K-Ran, or part of it anyway. Look at this. 
I gotta say though, Ishii has got this, you know, real like, you know, grind from wanting to fight. Yeah, he loves you feel it. That. He absolutely yeah. loves it. You see that, yeah. Uh, but it's just coming from a judo background. I really feel he's struggling with like, like adapting to the K1 mm. rules. Mm -hmm. His body is probably so used to all that, those years of judo in his brain. Well, I mean, mm. I mean, it looks like pretty solid stuff that he's doing, but mm. he's not that agile, or athletic. Yeah, that's a good deep ball for him. True. I think maybe he's put, put on a bit too much muscle actually, because I think it made him. Oh, that actually connected. <laughs> <laughs> actually, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kyotaro has seen a lot more. Weight, fats, but uh, very hey. nice. But you do see the muscles on the sheet, but you say maybe a little too much. <laughs> well, he's got the naturalness about him, so it's it's very you know mm. relaxed, and he has to rely on technique more than mm. actually just pure strength. Right. A minute and a half into round two. <laughs> it's actually pretty impressive that he's lasted this long. <laughs> I would expect Kyotaro to have done more damage in a shorter period of time. Speaking of damage. Exactly. Yeah. But again, this, this is also an attribute to how physically strong she really is. Yes. <laughs> Take your shots. <laughs> Take a little break there. But I think Kyotaro would be smart enough to understand that if he's got such a tight guard mm. that he needs to start low kicking him and stuff to like open up for that guard. Mm. Body shots for sure. <laughs> so that's not going to knock him out. You know, hitting on top of the guard. Ah, yes. He has to get through the guard. Yeah. Mm, interesting. interesting. Yeah. You're kind of sitting there waiting for something spectacular <laughs> to happen, and then it just. It is what it is. Because it's, I mean, Kyoto's really not a sort of technical fighter, definitely. Is he? he's, he's just a heavy puncher, right? I mean, I wouldn't mean, say just. But no, he's that's... actually quite technical. Mm. He used to be very technical, yeah, actually. Yeah. Wee, that one okay, actually that one. hit him. Mm. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what he should be doing more of. Uh, because we haven't seen much legs and kicks. No, but that body kick there, mm. right mm. under his guard, mm. is perfect for like slowing um, uh, Ishii down. down. Yeah. So when you when you were 36 or 7 one of your last fights, you know, what, what was your body telling you like when you're fighting at this age? Nick? Um apart from my, my, my left hip being completely messed up and yeah. I had to go for pain killing injections weekly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was actually okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, but I had my hip replaced after fighting mm. and I had to stop it, so it was I was at the end of my body. Right, right, yeah. right. Good. Say, Just keep doing that, Ishii. Yeah. That's great. Maybe you got some advice from his trainer and that during the break. Where is it? There's a little kick there. I actually yeah. think he, oh, he <laughs> likes to wrestle. Um, I think he's actually probably a, a quite strong kicker. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it, but it, I think he actually when, kicks hard. When he does, right? Yeah. Ishii, yeah. Because there's something about the awkwardness of uh, from a fighter who's not a natural kicker. Ah. See, you know, when he's forced to kick, that because the awkwardness is there and the natural movements is not flowing so well, that it actually generates a lot of power. Mm. Oh, there's a knee. Yeah. Kicks. Remember, he uh, trained and lived in Croatia with Crow Cop for a long yeah. time. So he must have picked something up while kicking we, him. We hope so. Yeah. We might see some of that. And I like the way he's really trying harder in this round. He knows he has to, yeah. he has to beat him to we've, actually we've seen win. That, yeah. We've seen that uh, a little bit of switch there. 
Yeah. There you go. He's got the spirit yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, he's yelling no at him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, there's definitely more screaming there from Ichi and you can see that. Kiai. Yes. Oh, that one hit. Ooh, shaking his head there. Oh, he tried that sneaky overhand cross again. And Toto just Ooh. Is that one hoax? That was a great slip. Ooh, he ducked right under that punch. Oh, one more last minute. What do you reckon Kyotaro could actually also do MMA? Ah, uh, yeah. It'd be funny if you had a rules where the first two rounds were kickboxing I and then MMA. I was thinking the same, you know, it's like, if we could switch to MMA, it would be interesting. But... So you put him in a gi and Ishii would be crushing it. Right, like a judo gi, right? Yeah. Look at him, he just wants to get in there and toss him. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, say, well, you know, get whatever they can do, you know. That would be fun. Wee. I hate to say it, but I think Kyotaro actually could have been in a little bit better shape so he could have stayed sharper on his yeah. punches yeah. through all the three rounds. I think Ishii is definitely is doing a lot of hard work. Because yeah. he, he kind of punched himself out in the first round well, somehow. Yeah, yeah. And then he really slowed down in the second and then even more in the third round. Well, that's it. Ishii went, went all in on the third round. He tried. He didn't do much proper damage, but mm. he really tried. He mm. gave it everything. I would like to see an extension. Oh, maybe breathing there, he's got to get his breath back. Something like it. Yeah, because for a yeah. guy like that, I don't think he'll recover very fast. Yeah. But then again, they both look really tired. Yep. With all the weight they have to support. Okay, 30 to 27. Oh. Goes to Kyotaro. Oh. 30, 27. Wow. Mm. 30 to 27 again. Yeah. To Kyotaro. And same. 30 to 29 again to Kyotaro. So that uh, the winner of this came on super heavyweight is to Kyotaro. What, what do you think, Nick? Yeah, I mean, judge? <laughs> no, I think the judgment was pretty fair. Okay. Um, and accurate. Yeah. I just like personally, for entertainment value, I'd have liked to see another round. Yeah. Or even an MMA round with special rules. Uh, <laughs> no, just because you're somehow you want it to be. Um, yeah. You want it to somehow be like definite. Yeah. You know, like, you want like, to see a knockout. Like, a, yeah, this, that, yeah, like this one almost happened. Almost yeah. had him. Almost, almost had him. Yeah, it would have been. And, and uh, I think of Peter Arts is up on stage. Yeah, giving him the trophy. The trophy. Yeah. Wee, is the... Oh, shaking it off. It's Peter with Totaro. They've, have they fought before? I think, I think I they think have, so. yeah, yeah. I think I was probably there at one of the matches, yeah. <laughs> There's Peter, and now Peter's uh, daughter is fighting too? Yes, yeah. both his, uh, they've got twins, they're both fighting. Amazing, yeah. I can, I can see that Peter was saying Osh there, yeah. the way he does. Well, there, were, there was Kyotaro and, and, and Satoshi Ishii, interesting fight there, um, as Kyotaro goes back to his next stage. Thank you for... Yeah, thank you for watching. This was the K1 World Grand Prix 2023 at KFESTA 6. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.